So now to create a login and registration application using Wally, uh, what we need first we need a database on the server, right? And because we are using Network API, and we have to create one Android Studio project that is uh, login activity, login and registration activity. So that will we create in android studio and first of all let's see how to create database on the server right so this is triple uh, zero web host uh, which allows us to create a free database i mean to say they allow us free hosting as you can see free web hosting right zero cost website uh, you can choose any option you have lots of option available online right i have already created my account on this site so now let's just start with triple uh, zero web host so let me log in and as you can see i have already created one website right you can create it uh, it's quite easy you can click on create new site now let me manage this site so i will choose manage site now dashboard will be look like this and you can move to tool and you can select database manager right uh, first you need to create database so select database manager and as you can see i have already created one database uh, this is database name this is username and localhost this will be the uh, database host name uh, for the first time uh, when uh, you will be logging uh, you will not find any any database so you need to create it so just click on this new database button and follow the steps then create one new database right at most you can manage two database as they are showing there now i have already created so let me manage it i will go to my admin panel now admin panel will look like this and let me select my database I have one table that is stood and let me open it so at present moment I have only one record that is username here and password via and email address is at the rate one two three you can see the structure you can change structure right so this way you can create your database and can create table then this database and table we will use in Wally, right so first of all you need to create a database now uh, we also required a php file that is our scripting file on the server side that will manage the connection and all so from here we will move to file manager and just click on the upload files and it will take you to the file manager it's redirecting so here i have already created so many files as you can see this all are the files i used in my previous project and let me show you a simple file say this Wally.php just select it and edit it so as you can see it's nothing but the php file with which uh, it checks for the connection see here i have passed username and password using the post parameter and i'm selecting record with this username and password and if username and password matches then i have printed message user found otherwise no records matching your query were found so this is simple php file okay you can create it 
here over here in a file manager so this way you can browse to file manager this way you can create your database and you can host your site so now let's uh, see what is Wally. Uh, Wally is developed by Google itself and it is network API. It makes request and receives the response for our Android apps. And as you can see as a node, if your app has a frequent network access, means your application require frequent request and responses over the internet connection, right? Then you should create the singleton class otherwise for the normal use uh, I will demonstrate you how to use this volley okay so now just let create one Android studio project as we have our previous login program so here we have one login activity here we have uh, edit text for user and one for the password now we will pass username and the password and we'll click on the button to check whether this username and password are registered or not so in a previous video we have created one database we have created one table so we will use the Wally API to connect with that database